This is Fred Beck from Fred Dogs Fire Team. Today, I'm very lucky you're joined by Study. So thank you very much for coming on, mate. It's good to see you. Yeah, no worries. Uh, good to see you too, finally. I've seen, a, I've seen quite a few of your videos on YouTube. So how did you kind of originally get started with YouTube? Because you've been on the platform for quite a while. Mm, yeah, um, when I was in college in like 2014, it was actually a way for me to show my friends my gameplay. There was nothing else to it. It wasn't like, like I care about getting views. It was just put it on a memory stick, put it on my laptop, take it to upload it and then show people at college. That was that was the whole point And that was where I enjoyed it. And you kind of see a development in your channel because you started off doing kind of quadrated videos, the kind of UFC videos. Now I do a lot of videos on Esports Boston Club. Mm. How do you kind of find that transition at all? Um, I didn't really care too much about what the channel was. It was just, you know, a bit of fun. Um, it was like I played Battlefield because Battlefield was out. Played UFC because I was playing a lot of UFC. And then Esports Boxing Club came about. And I think it was, oh God, uh, a year and, year and a bit ago now, I... I Connor Ben retweeted a, a screenshot of him in game, and uh, I was like, "Oh, I'll talk about it on on my channel," and that got like a thousand views. And I was like, "Oh well, people obviously want a boxing game." So, uh, and then I actually went out and bought all the old boxing games because I actually hadn't played them before that before recently. Yeah, I've never played the blue and old Fight Night games. Are they good? Uh, yeah, they're all right. I mean, they're a bit dated. You, you know, you play a game from two thousand and four; it's from two thousand and four, but. Um, you can see where EA cared about it and then didn't care, then cared, then really didn't care. So it was like, you know, they, they, they get better and worse and better and worse. But I think uh, the older ones are actually better than the newer ones, in my opinion. Okay, but I guess you prefer playing UFC more to the old Fight Night games, though. Yeah, I mean, yeah, again, funnily enough, the UFC I prefer playing isn't made by EA. The one that I prefer playing is the, the THQ one from... 2012 and but when it comes to boxing you know i play the final round four because i feel like that's the the most realistic one in, in a certain sense um but yeah no i mean i don't really play ufc four i, I can't i just don't find enjoy i don't know if you play it yourself but i just can't find enjoyment in in ufc four the only good thing is the updated roster oh i can see i mean yeah the, the roster will change every now and again but why do you prefer playing the old ufc because surely the ur must be better in kind of every way yeah no you you you'd think so i mean it, I mean, obviously, you've got, you know, the, the strike in these days is much better than the striking was back then. But the game as a whole just feels more enjoyable. The rounds flow a bit more realistic. I mean, you know, that, that, the, the, the ground game especially, I mean, I know, obviously, you know, we do a lot of boxing, but the ground game, especially in the older ones, is, is just leaps and bounds. It's unbelievable that the difference. But I don't know. I think, you know, uh, people just feel that EA don't care. So people almost get that in their heads that the game is bad and UFC 4 is just it's uh, for me it's just not fun I don't play it and go you this was a fun game experience I'd rather just watch you know paint dry really I haven't got UFC 4 I think I played a bit of UFC 3 but didn't play much hmm. of it um, so we just touched on a uh, esports bossing club as you said your first video was a Conor Ben one and that kind of put all started what do you kind of expect from esports bossing club or what would you like to see in the game uh Oh, God. Um, I mean, I'd like one thing that I, I really want to see that is I don't really know how you, you would achieve this, but it's just something some games have. I want the career to be replayable. That's that's one thing I care about the most. I mean, it's great having a good career. I want to be able to play it, you know, eight, nine, ten times, you know, from bantamweight to heavyweight. It does. You know, I, that's one thing that I really want from it. I'm expecting gameplay to be brilliant, online play to be good, competitive and you know, simulation and, and, and everything else that they've listed, but career is something I, I I don't just want to play it once and it and then you'd be like, okay, I've done everything that's possible. That's that's like my 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 biggest thing. Cause I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be the best at online. I you know I, I have to accept that. But career I know I can enjoy and I, I want to be able to play it again and again and again and you know have a career like like Pacquiao, you know, where you go through the, all those weight classes through your career all have a career where you just, you know, you just stick a heavyweight and you just batter everyone inside. You, you know what I mean? Yeah, I can see. I see what we're talking about there. And um, obviously for Esports Sports Club, it's not released, so it's pretty, pretty difficult making videos on it. How's the kind of time being? Because they haven't, we haven't heard anything from the company for a while. Mm, yeah, I mean, what was the last thing we heard? Was it, I mean, other than, I suppose, the Bronze Bomber reveal, the last gameplay we saw was in July. So it's been... 
bloody hell, four months now. I mean, I, I'm, I'm going to say it now. I still think something's coming into this month. I don't know why. I just got a feeling the four month gap or they're very close to something because they're so quiet. I got a feeling it's like a deadline. But uh, when it comes to making videos for it, I just think, you know, I want to talk about it and I don't have any mates that care about boxing like that. So the, the YouTube thing is the way for me to talk to people like, like, you know, people like you, the, the box and fans, because people come in the comments and I will try and have conversations with people in the comments. That's all it is. I don't think, let me upload this video of me talking about, I don't know, Canelo stats, for example, a video that I made recently. Oh, I hope that gets a million views. It won't. I know that, but I know that people will comment. And I can have a conversation. That's, that's my goal. And it's just, whenever I think of something, I think, let me talk to other people about it. I see what you mean. Cause, uh, what you're saying is you're kind of building a community, which is always uh, quite good to see. And um, I found something quite interesting on the game. I think Sonny Edwards tweeted it out. He probably wasn't meant to, but good on him for doing it. And uh, it was, he was saying that you could have people in any division fight each other, so you can have a heavyweight versus a flyweight. Now, that will make for quite a good thumbnail, don't you think, having Tyson Fury and then Sonny Edwards? Yeah, yeah. I think uh, I think that, that content's going to be um, something that people will jump on early or people will jump on later, maybe. But... You know, I think I think I think you're bang on. You know, you're going to get people that are going to do things like smallest versus tallest, hardest hit versus lightest hit, our longest reach versus shortest reach. I mean, uh, Ricky J Sports, he does it where he done Tyson Fury's reach in UFC, and the thumbnail was the arm all the way across the ring. So people are so creative with it. You you know it's going to happen. So you know, I don't I don't I think that's something I'll I'll probably forget about. And literally, you've just mentioned. I thought yeah, I've just remembered it because he said it was uh him versus Joe Joyce, didn't he? Mm -hmm. That was what the the tweet was, and he said that he won. So that would be. Uh, an interesting thing to see uh, in, in the future, but that will make for some good content, I think, um, down the da down the road for sure. It's kind of weird because now it's kind of a massive drought in a way for Esports Boxing Club content, but as soon as the game comes out, you have unlimited uh, options mm. to play as. And you were just mentioned there your career mode. Do you think you're going to... I see lots of people for UFC or FIFA even for career mode, they do their videos on it, so they do career mode part one, career mode part two, they do about half an hour of each video. Do you think you do something similar to that? Yeah, I believe so. I think um, the first career will be one of the ones where there is very little editing going on. So I will literally take it in sections so people can experience the entire thing. Then after the game's been out a month or so, people don't want to watch the intro screen. People don't want to watch loading screens so that people get bored of that. So then it will be, I'll, I'll just cut straight to the fight, straight to the training. But for sure, you know, I mean... It's, it's, it's tough with some games because you think, you know, I've had it before where I've been recording for, you know, 18, 19 minutes and I've gone, all right, I'll get in one more fight. I'm on, I'm on a tear at the minute, get this fight over in three rounds. Then you have a 12 round fight and you've got a 40 minute video and people don't always want to watch a 40 minute video. So you, you do run that, that risk, especially in a boxing game. Obviously what, I mean, what you can go 36, four minutes, can't you in a fight? So I definitely will do it, but I, I'm, I'm hoping it's not one of those things where it's like my first career is, part 60 you know like six weeks down the line hopefully you know some of the fights i can get through relatively quickly and get four or five fights and then i think come down the line i will try and add a bit more bit more spice to it and uh you know like with undisputed three for example i've, I've added a bit um i add a bit different stuff to it now so I've, I've been trying some new things like for example putting the whole career in one video like that but then obviously you know as you can imagine that could end up being about nine hours long so you know yeah, I can imagine it quite a long video. I guess you just have to put kind of the highlights in. And I haven't actually asked this question in 420 on, but you know how on FIFA, I mean, I don't play FIFA much, but everyone's played FIFA. Um, the time is kind of speeded up. Will that be the, the same for Esports Boxing Club, do you think? And is that the same for Fight Night? Uh, it is the same for Fight Night, yes. Uh, UFC 4 and UFC games, it's the same. But in UFC, and I think Esports Boxing Club will do the same, they have, they have accelerated or real-time clock. So I think there will be that possibility um, where if you want to really have three minute rounds, I think you're going to be able to turn that option on. Uh, I think it would be silly for them to leave that out because sometimes it would be good to have that full experience. Um, but I will imagine the preset option will be accelerated clock and then you'll have the choice to turn it up to real, real time. And do you think it will help for your boxing game? Say you know a lot about boxing or you know all the technique. Do you think that will help at all in the game or do you think it will be about how kind of good you are at gaming in general? Yeah, I, I think I think that's one thing that people uh, talk about a lot in the Discord. And I feel like it's one of those things where if if two people who have the same, me and you fight, for example, and you know nothing about boxing, the only thing that's going to favour me is I know what combinations work and how to move around the ring. 
But if you know nothing about boxing, but you put a thousand hours into esports boxing club, you are going to wipe the floor with me every time if I've never played it. it. I think only at the start, it will depend on boxing knowledge. Then after that, it will be 100% gaming IQ, gaming ability for sure. So it's kind of like, we we'll use an analogy here, it's kind of like table tennis, where if you're good at table tennis, it really helps. If you're a bad bat, it's going to be a bit tiny bit of a disadvantage. Then if you're a good table tennis player, if you're a good bat, then you'll definitely be, definitely be very mm. good. And what kind of fighters, I don't need too much time, but what kind of fighters would you like to see in the game which hasn't even already been announced yet? Apart from the obvious ones like Floyd Mayweather, Mike Tyson, etc. cetera. Yeah. Mm, yeah, I mean, obviously Triple G, for sure. Um, who else would I like? Obviously, uh, Nara Nui. Javonta uh, Davis. Javonta Davis. Javonta Davis. Yeah, I think Javonta Davis will... will I, I mean, I'm still confident, but I think just off the top of me, I think Anui, Davis, Triple G, the Charlo brothers. Um, some fighters are popular, but I don't care for like their, them in the game. I, like Tiafimo Lopez, he's cool, but I, he's not one that I'm, I'm overly bothered about. I'd like to see, you know, uh, George, uh, George Foreman. I'd like to see him in the game. Uh, Shannon Briggs, I think, would be funny, uh, you know, because I'd, I'd like to see some real just hard hitting heavyweights to rival that Deontay Wilder power that's going to be in the game. Just a couple more points. You made a video on this uh, a couple of few days ago about EA. But one of my questions about EA is Esports Boxing Club already signed what Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, Muhammad Ali, Roy Jones, Nuno Alvarez, Caleb Plant, Josh Taylor, Alexander Usyk, all the kind of champions. So who's left for EA to get really? Off Manti Joshua, of course. Um, I mean, what one thing I think that needs to be mentioned is there's never been it's never been said that all of these contracts to esports boxing club are exclusive. So EA may very well be allowed to sign them as well because I don't I I don't know if many boxers would sign an exclusive contract given the world that they're in. Uh, but for them, that's different to esports box. I mean, like you said, AJ. Who else have they got? Um, I mean, Anui. Be a world champion, I suppose. Um, you know, he's a very good fighter, but he's not the most like well known. No, fighter, no, like, no, no I you... won't have an idea who he is. Like, my dad yeah, has not, you... have no idea who he is. Maybe, I don't know, uh, Billy Joe. Well, oh, I got Floyd Mayweather. Uh, they, they could probably afford, they could probably afford Floyd Mayweather, I guess. Yeah, they could probably. Obviously, you've got, Le- I think, I think with Fight Night, let's say they don't have anyone from Esports Box Club, I could see their game being Floyd, Jake, and Logan Paul. And that's not like I generally believe that. And then just legends. So I could see them having Sonny Liston, Mike Tyson, Evander Holyfield, George Foreman. They'll just go with that because they had them all in fight night. Um, I think that that will be their easiest approach to it. You know, stick stick them all in an arcade boxing game and and, and run with it. That's a good point about Logan Paul and Jake Paul. I did ask about Ryan Rose and Ryan said, are they really a fight? Are they real? The real boxers? I think they're real <laughs> boxers. But that was a while back when I think he hadn't went fought too many people. Um, yeah, just a couple more, just a couple more points. Release date? Yeah. Any idea? Oh, uh, no, I mean, I'm optimistic about December. Uh, but, you know, I think that's that's just optimism, really. That's just me praying. I, if, if I had to bet my life, I would say we get some information on the release or at least, I don't know, they, they don't want to give out hints. I suppose by January, then maybe the release will be April, May time. Okay, my birthday's in May, so that'd be all right. If so, Yeah. <laughs> Hey, that, that is a long time though, isn't it? But anyway, thanks so much for time today, mate. It's always it's always good to talk. Um, so I'll put your channel link in the description. But mm-hmm. where well, you got anything else coming up? You want to shout out Instagram, Twitter, etc. Not really. I think uh every god, I, I think I have different names for everything. YouTube is study, Twitter is the real study, Instagram is king study, Twitch is the real study. So I mean, you know, it's just but YouTube's the main thing. That's what I upload every day, anytime after like 5, 6 p.m. Um but yeah, no, nah, it's been uh, it's been really good fun to talk to you. I've been I've been watching your uh, your interviews for quite a while and stuff. I started with just when it was esports box club news, but I, I tend to watch them all now, really, just because uh, it's interesting to get that side of a fighter. You know, like when Lyndon, I mean Lyndon Arthur, when you were interviewing him, he's just like pottering around in his car. I think that's so funny. Like you just chatting to him like that, and I think like you know, I just think it's really cool. So I, I try to I pretty much watch them all to be honest. Oh wow, thank you. I've been learning quite yeah. a lot recently. That's quite crazy. Yeah, you've been doing really well. Yeah, thank you, but. For your, if your Instagram, it makes sense just to have the same logo and the same name. Why mm. don't you just change your Instagram to Real Studies? I think someone's got it. You have to pay them to get someone, it 
someone else has got it or i think i might have it on an email and password i forgot so you show yourself, at... yourself in the foot basically i yeah. have shot yourself in the foot yeah so i think i've lost that um i've lost that to be honest because originally i had study on everything but someone has taken that on twitter so i just had to have the real study and then it just all bloody followed suit in it so you know <laughs> just the way it's it right. is, i suppose it's all right you've got those followers on those platforms so i yeah, I'll put your Instagram link in the in your YouTube in the description, but I'm sure we'll catch up soon then, mate. Thanks for your time. Yeah, nice one. Cheers, mate.